Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today we've got a quick review for you on the Reloop tape. Now the way that things come to be reviewed here on the channel, you know, of course, the big manufacturers will send me their new stuff that's coming out. And I will also hunt down things from smaller, more bespoke manufacturers because I want to give it coverage. I want to expose it here on the channel. But also I get tips and requests, not only from you guys and girls who watch the videos, but from people in the industry as well. And you know, the tape is not a new product. It's been around for a couple of years. And over that couple of years, I've been dealing with this guy, Matt, who works for the UK distributor of Reloop. And he is DJ himself. And constantly for that two years, he's been saying, look, Mojax, you need to try the tape. I use it myself. I've been using it for ages. I really like it. You've got to give it a go. So eventually I gave up and I said, yeah, all right, send me the tape. Let's give it a try. And you know what? I can kind of see why he likes it. Basically, it is a recording device. It doesn't have any internal memory in there. Um, it is roughly the same size as an actual cassette tape, just a little bit thicker. So it's very portable. It will just go in your pocket, you know, plastic construction, easy to carry around to gigs, whatever you're doing. And you connect a USB device that could be a USB stick or a hard drive to the USB port on the front. You've got an input and a through output as well. So if you've only got one output on, say, your you know, controller or your mixer, you can't spare an output. You can just run the signal through the tape and use it as a pass through device. You've then got a line phono switch on the side and a grounding post. You can use this with a turntable to archive your vinyl. Now that's one thing that I would say don't do because the thing with this, it records only as MP3. It will not record as a lossless format. So WAVE, AIFF, Apple lossless, anything like that. This is just an MP3 recorder. And I certainly would not recommend that serious DJs archive their vinyl into just directly into mp3 that's not the way to go if you want me to cover vinyl ripping in the future we'll do that properly but yeah i would stick to just recording your actual dj sets with this thing so yeah leave it on the line level you've got a switch to go between 192 and 320 mp3 and with the availability you know the size of a usb stick that you can buy for virtually pennies now i would definitely say stick to 320 and there you go just press record on the top You've got the record indicator light, you've got a signal peak light, you've got power, USB light shows you that your USB is connected and working okay. Now, there are no level controls on here. You're gonna to have to control that with the output of your mixer, your controller, whatever it is. And you've only got a signal light, so it lights up green to show you that you've got signal and then changes color to show you that you're peaking. So definitely do not peak. I've tried doing that on here and it does not sound good when you do. Always keep your levels nicely in check. Don't go over the top but actually it gives a very good recording quality considering it is 320 mp3. Now, the good thing with mp3 is that you can get tons and tons and tons of music, you know, of, of actual recording time, not only on a stick in itself, but actually within an individual file. I recorded over eight hours in one go onto here, onto this USB stick, and it just recorded as one file, eight hours solid. So that's great. If you just wanna leave this thing hooked up all the time, in your bedroom, in your home studio, and just leave it running. It doesn't heat up or get warm or anything like that. You can record a whole day's practice session, listen back to stuff that was cool later on. It's really great from that point of view. Simple, in this case, can kind of be better. There is one downside to this. It does require mains power, and it's a five volt DC in, and it comes with a little power brick. I would be much happier if that was a micro USB socket so that you could actually run this off a power bank or something like that. Because as it stands, you can't really take this out with you. You do need that mains power. So it would be perfect, especially with that through, um, through output, it would be perfect for portableism otherwise. So if they're gonna do a second version of this at some point, I would love to see just a, you know, a USB socket for the actual power, then you could run it off any power bank that you've got, take it completely mobile, and that would be great. But as it stands, you get decent quality, as straightforward as you can get. Price-wise, we're looking at $120 street price in the US, which I think is pretty reasonable. You can get more advanced recorders around about this price, and if you spend an extra kind of $1,800, you can get some very advanced recorders, but that's not what the tape is about. The tape is about plug it in, set your level roughly, hit record, off you go. Simple, straightforward recording, and if that's what you're looking for, then the tape will fit the bill very nicely. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.